Okay, here we go. Second attempt at <laughs> recording this. Had the wrong scene set. Well, still set to satisfactory. Numb nuts. Anyway. Right, so. Going to... If we load it up, we have loaded up our little program with account and uh, going and uh, iterating, looping through in a while loop to output the contents of the count and uh, incrementing it. Very simple program. Let's just uh, quickly load up IDA Pro, load the reverse me file. A file is a portable executable. Yes to that. And that gives us the graph view. This is the it's taken us straight to the main function. The main function here. I've done a lot of initializing here. I stored the function, the get char function, which waits for me to press enter before it loops around again. Which is there. So output the the um, contents of count. Wait for me to press enter, increment count, and then loop around. Do it all again. And this part is here. That's the looping part. Now we take that. Let's go. Let's go into edit view, text view, right click text view. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Main initializations and looping the while loop. So let's make a change of some sort. What should we do? What should we do? We've altered the code so that we can actually decrement. That was the last one. I have gone blank. What shall we do? <laughs> um do an addition. We add another int. Um, call this something. <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, I know we could have tried. Tried changing count. No, we do that. Actually, in the initial in the initialization. So I assume that X or ESI ESI sets uh, the contents of ESI to zero. Could do a move ESI and say 100 hex value 100, which I think is 64. I'm not sure because these these are specific sizes, a number of bytes. I can't remember right now what that is. And then move something into something maybe bigger than this. I think it probably is bigger than that. That could cause problems. Anyway. Alright, so we're int something equals we're gonna have this um let's say ten. And uh we won't have it incrementing. We know what increment looks like. So increment is ink ESI. So that increases it by one. So let's see what happens when we try and change this by adding something. So count plus equals something. So that will add something to count each time. If we build that, build. And then let's 
let's go to the actual location. Open, open location of the executable. Minimize that. Okay, so if I hit enter now, that should be 10. Yes, next one should be 20. Yes, good. Now, let's connect. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, that's this is the old version. We've, we've just rebuilt, so we need to close down Ida Pro. Open up Ida Pro again. New. Load up the new version. Overwrite, yes. Portable executable, it is. Uh, input file, yeah, I think debug information, okay. So this will be the new version with our something. Let's just make that smaller. What have we got here? ESP stack. That's the stack. That's that again. There's no changes there. It's all the same. It's set to zero. Zero A. A is hex for ten. Okay, so it hasn't bothered with the, those. Let's have a look. Where we've defined that, although the count is set here, I'm assuming. Um, so that's set to zero. Is there, there's, there's nothing. There's no something. <laughs> there's no something set to ten. It goes into the a while loop, and it's adding. Yeah, see, so when it compiles, it makes it as simple as possible, as far as the uh, compiler is concerned. So add 0AH A hex, which is 10 decimal. Simples. That's cool. Shall I end it on there? I don't know how long this video has been going on for. That's a nice buzz. Excellent. Okay, actually, if, let's 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 change it. Let's let's change this. Do one more thing. Yeah, we, we make a make a hack. Hack it. Okay, select the debugger, and I need to local Windows debugger, and then go back to debugger. That sounds so rude. <laughs> um, shut up. Uh, I need to attach to process. And we got to attach to the reverse me. Reverse me, reverse me. Let's just search for it. I think that's 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 got to be it. Double click. Now, you haven't taken me to the main, have you? Weird. When I was... Um, learning about this, I swear it did take me to the main straight away. Okay, let's find main as we did before, as I figured out what to do, how to do it. Go via functions. Where's function? Right. View. Go to the view. Open sub views functions. And then we can go to main. Main, 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 main. There's main. Double click. Main proc. This is all I need to learn. Actually, what I'm going to do, I've set up my own layout, um, Windows, load desktop, desktop, Chucky layout. OK. There you go, that's better. No! It's lost main again. Functions. Uh, functions? Okay. View. 
open win open sub views functions brain work main 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 there it is and here we have it have it main Okay, so there's the ESI is being set to zero. There's our loop, our while loop. Jump to one ten ten ten, which is that address there. So it keeps on for it's forever going through that loop. And what we want is the change. We've added ten, added something, and something is ten. which is here, add the um, assembly language instruction add. So it adds 0AH, it's A hex, which is 10 decimal to the contents of ESI, which is our counter. Now, so we can change this. Instead, let's change the value. What was it? Um, assembly symbol. A symbol. I've already forgotten how to do this. <laughs> um, edit. 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 Patch. Oh yeah. Edit. Patch program. Symbol. Then we can add in. So we can change the uh, command or one of these. Okay, A is 10. Um, 16, which is 1, 0, H. 1, 0, H in hex is 16. Okay, let's cancel that. So now that's changed it on in the memory itself, in the running process. So now when I do it, it, sh it should add 16 each time. And I've got to actually run. Okay. So now hit enter. Oops. Of course, I've got to hit this little green triangle thingy. There you go. 16 was added. 36. Add 16 again. 52. Voila. Success. So if you change that ESI, uh, things are going to go wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. We can change the add. Um, we can subtract. I think it's sub. It's um, not that way. Let's assemble again. So edit, patch program, assemble. Change that to sub. What is sub it? Sub before wasn't it when I did the no ink deck okay <laughs> concentrate sub okay cancel that so now it's sub so it should subtract 16 each time 52 there you go 68 52 next one 36 awesome and I think that's enough for this video next do more in the episode three.